this video, we'll make an architectural terrain map. Go to File, Geolocation, Add Location, and here you can move the slider up and down to zoom in and out of the whole world. You can also type a region like Appalachian Mountains or an, ex an exact address or pan the map around and then zoom in to the area you want. And then once you zoom in enough, then you'll click Select Region and hone in on that region. Make sure to leave something that you can scale later. Grab it and it comes in unscaled as a group and locked as you can tell when you click on it and see the red border. So right click and unlock it. Then open the Groups Editing box and scale a recognizable feature. I'm scaling this street 50 feet wide. And that makes this swatch roughly to scale. Now go to Window, Layers, and turn on the Google Earth Terrain Layer. And there is your contours. So I'm going to turn off the original layer and this is what I'll use to make the terrain map with. If I click on Hidden Geometry, I'll even get a mesh covering this. You can see it's a locked group, so unlock it. And with it all selected, I'm going to click on Add Terrain Skirt, which is an extension I got at Sketchication.com. That adds depth to the swatch of land and then I can simply push-pull it to whatever depth I want. And there's my terrain map. Now I want to export it as an STL. And so I've already installed an STL extension from the extension warehouse. So at File, Export X STL. I'll export it to my desktop. Then I will import this STL into Autodesk 123D Make, which is a free program. Here I'm importing it, navigating to the STL. There it is. And now I'll cut it up. I have my choice of different construction techniques. As you can see from the menu bar on the left, I'll select Stacked Slices. That cuts it up, and I can finesse it more. At Get Plans, I can export a PDF or an EPS or DXF file of these slices so that I can then cut them myself or with a laser cutter or send them to a service bureau to cut for me. And then I'll assemble them. And I can even get instructions for how to assemble them right here.